I'm going to show how to take off conduit now using PlanSwift, how to measure it, take it off, and then how to input it into Red Rhino software. Now, you can see the view here on the right, the screen on the right. I have PlanSwift open. I've actually logged into the integrator already. I have the plans open here. And on the left screen, um, by the way, this is a 32-inch monitor, okay? You can't tell by looking, but uh, I estimate on a larger screen here using PlanSwift, okay? 32-inch monitor. On the left, it's my laptop, and I'm logged into Red Rhino. I already have the job or estimate created. And you can see I have three sections in this estimate, site work, feeders and panels, and branch lighting. Now, I'm going to input PVC conduit in this site work section. So to get started, I'm going to click Take Off Edit in my Red Rhino here. And when it opens up, it's ready for me to input materials. Now, in this case, I'm just going to open the conduit wizard because that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be measuring on screen here, and then I'll be inputting it using the conduit wizard. Okay, so I click on the, draw, or click on the wizards button, I should say. It opens up the wizards. I'm going to scroll down here to the conduit wizard, click the little arrow to the right of it and it opens up the conduit wizard. Okay, now, now I'm just gonna switch to one screen right now, plan swift screen, so you can see what's going on there. Okay, so I'll just give a quick guided tour of plan swift now. Here, I already opened up the job um, in plan swift, and I've already uploaded the plans, obviously, and done all the setup for this. So I'm gonna scroll down. I'm, I actually have clicked on the site plan here, and that's what's displayed on the screen. Now, I just wanna show you a couple things. It's important to get used to navigating around on plans with learning your way around. But down here you'll see that there's pages and bookmarks highlighted. That means that it opens the blueprints here, okay? Now, as I scroll this down, what these items indicate here are I've actually input or taken off materials, and they're showing on those plans, okay? These are the plans, and this is where I've input materials. Now, I want to go down here just real quick show you takeoff summary is a different view of that. I'm going to click on takeoff summary. It shows the Taco Bell job as a folder, and then it shows the three sections like I showed you in Red Rhino. There's a site work section, feeders and panels, and branch and lighting. And again, you can see that I've already added materials in these sections down here, but I've added no materials in site work because there's none listed. Now, just one more thing. It's important that you know how to navigate here. Go up here and click on estimating. And this, this gives a view, a different view. Now, this is the window that we're going to export materials to Red Rhino. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I can see that, again, here's my site work section. I see no materials in there. Here's my other sections here, and I see that there are materials here. And I go over to the right here. I see that I've already exported these materials to Red Rhino, okay, because it, it's labeled exported. Okay, now let me go back to home page here. I have, again, the site drawing. Now I'm going to start showing you how to take off um, the, the um, conduit on the site and input it into Red Rhino using the conduit wizard. I'm just going to left-click and move this line over, make the plans bigger. I can do it on both sides here. Left-click, move it over. Okay, now I'm going to blow these plans up and get started. Okay, so you use the lineal measurements to take off conduit in PlanSwift. I'm going to zoom in here and just as a quick overview for your sake, I see that I have to feed these outdoor light fixtures, parking lot light fixtures, outdoor light fixtures with some underground, okay? It'll be PVC three quarter with three number tens, okay? So I'm just gonna measure this using PlanSwift. Now to do that, I go up and click on the linear button, click on linear, I select linear, and when it does, it opens up a window where I can type in a description, okay? Now, you, I, I type in a description, I choose a color, and the other thing I have to do is I have to select what section called folder um, that I want um, red or I want Plant Swift to to put these materials in. Okay, now if I was going, I'm not going to change sections. I'm going to put it in the site work section. But I click the drop down. I could select whatever section I want to account for these in. Okay. Now again, this is site work section. I'm just going to choose that. Just important to know that before you do any takeoff in here, you want to select the section or the folder that this these materials go to. Okay. So again, it's going to go to site work. I'm going to change the name here. 
So there we go. I'm taking off three-quarter PVC with three number 12s, and so that's how I set up the name of this. Now I'm going to click the color drop down on this one. I, I'm going to take off in red. Okay, now I already did the, the folder selection here for the section, and now I click OK. Now when I click OK, the digitizer here lights up, when my cursor is on this page, it's ready to go. So I just click from point to point here to get it to measure. Now here's something important to know. Um, in order to, since these plans are one-dimensional, you want to be able to make up for the for the um, conduit that goes up or down called the riser, okay? And so what we do is we overroll for that. In other words, if I was just clicking from this point, it wouldn't allow for the riser that comes up into the bottom of the pole, okay, the conduit that goes up and down, called the riser. So I'm just going to go here and kind of overroll this to make up for that. Not too much, but just, just a little bit here. So when I click on this point, it start dig starts digitizing, and then I just move my cursor to the next point that I want to estimate to. Now, I'm just going to take this off real quick. I mean, my objective would be to take this off as quick as possible, and I take off my conduit at right angles to the job, okay? So I'm just going to go clear down here to the bottom and click. I'm going to click here. I see I have another fixture here. I'm just going to run past that, keep going, because I'm going to go all the way around here. So I click this point, then I turn up. I usually plan swift moves the plans as I do, as I uh, get to the edge of it. So I'm just going to go, again, I'm feeding outside fixtures and conduit. I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to turn over this way. And again, I'm going to overroll this to allow for some of the risers, okay? and I'll click there and then when I'm done again it shows the total distance that I've measured here and next I just want to shut off the digitizer so I right click and click stop okay it stops digitizing now as I input or as I roll this off you can see that PlanSwift showed the distance of 619 feet you know, 619.16 feet. Okay, so it, it measured that. Now later on, in a couple minutes here, I'm going to actually input that into the into Red Rhino using the Conduit Wizard. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to count elbows, okay, PVC three-quarter elbows to stub up into these uh, fixtures. So I go over to the right, I click Products, little plus sign next to products. Now again, I'm looking for three-quarter inch L's or elbows, PVC elbows. So I'm going to go down to product 7,000. Now I'm going to move this over a little bit so I can see better. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to click on conduit elbows 45 and 90 degrees. So I'll click on the little plus sign here. I'm looking for PVC elbows, 90 degree bends. I click the plus sign here. Now it's opening this folder up. Now it's displaying the actual products in that folder. So here's my three quarter inch. In order to count them, I click the little green dot to digitize. And again, it opens a window. I would, uh, I would in this case, just um, make sure I, I have the right section selected here, okay? So I'd click this drop down. I am doing this on site work, so I don't have to change it. I'm just going to click OK and it starts digitizing. Now I'm going to scroll in, or I should say zoom in here. And again, what I'm doing is I'm clicking on the screen here and I'm counting um, my PVC elbows. So, uh, you know, I'm going to stop myself right here. Um, I didn't, I didn't uh, show or display how I would come out of the building and over and into this first pole. Okay, so I didn't show that. I'm just realizing that, and I'm not going to go back and do it. You just know that you have to have a complete uh, a complete loop here with your uh, conduits, right? Okay, so again, I'm just going to go ahead and start counting um, elbows here, 90 degrees, okay? So I just click where I need them. Now, actually, since I didn't put this conduit in here, I know I need two here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click it twice. I know I need two here, right? in and out of this light pole. Let me let me uh, zoom in some more. Okay, so here's another fixture. I need an, an innie and an Audi. Okay, I need two elbows there. Again, as I click these over here, it's making a count and showing a count, okay? And then I'm going to scroll up here. And again, I'm just clicking on the screen every time I need one of those elbows. Here's another fixture. I know I need an elbow on each side of that. And then finally, one for this one. 
Okay, and then again, when I'm done counting those, it shows the count on the screen. There is 11. Over here, it recorded 11 of them. Again, I'm going to right-click on it and stop the count. Click Stop. You know, I guess this is as good a time as any for me to show you something else here. Let's say that I was doing takeoff on this page and I forgot something, okay? I don't have to start all over to count or measure here. What I can do is I can just go over here. It's already been digitized for this three-quarter PVC, three number 12s. I'm just going to go ahead and add the conduit that I forgot in the first place. So to do that, I just hover on this um, description of the item. I click on the little green dot over here and it's going to continue the count, okay? So again, I want to add the conduit going from the building. I'll just click there, I'll click here, and I'll go up here and click again. And then it, what it did was it just added that conduit to my count over here, okay? So again, I'm, I'm still digitizing here. I'm going to right click and stop the count. Okay, so again, if, you're, if you've already counted something, you can just go back in and digitize over here and it'll keep counting or measuring, I should say, the same item. Okay, it's important to know that, so it's a time-saving tip. Now, next, I'm actually going to, um, I'll, I'll show you the next item right now. The other item I want to record on here is the number of runs, okay? Now, again, it's important for you to understand how the Conduit Wizard works or anything in Red Rhino works, so you can know how to do the takeoff for that. But I know in the Conduit Wizard, I need to know the number of runs, and I'm going to record that now. So in order to count or record anything on PlanSwift that isn't included in the Rhino assembly or product catalog over here, you just go up here and click count. Okay, so this again, this is how you digitize, just click count. And then what you do is you kind of fill in the blanks or, or, or fill this out however you want. Now in this case, I'm counting number of conduit runs, okay? It's the number of three-quarter conduit runs. So I labeled it just like that. I said number of three-quarter PVC runs, okay? Again, this inform information is important or necessary for the Conduit Wizard. Now, again, I can select a color. It, it doesn't matter, you know, what your color preference is here, and I click OK to digitize. Now, again, the purpose of this is for me to actually count the conduit runs, okay? So I see there's a conduit run from the building to the first light. I'll click in the middle of that run. It'll digitize and count. And again, I just go around the screen. There, I know there's a conduit run from this fixture to the other fixture, so I click here. Again, from this fixture to this light fixture here, and so on. I just click around here. You get fast at this when you've done it a couple times, okay? Now, I've digitized or counted the number of runs. I see there's numbers. There's six runs on the screen. Of course, over here, it's digitized and counted six also. Again, I'm going to go over here and, and right-click and click Stop to stop digitizing. Or stop counting. Now I just want to explain real quick here. This is the same way that you take off any conduit. It doesn't matter if it's PVC, EMT, um, what's uh, uh, even Romex. Okay, it's the same, you take off conduit or Romex the same way using the lineal measurement tool in PlanSwift, and then you'll go input those items into Red Rhino. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that next. Okay, so next I'm going to click on the Estimating tab at the top, and again, this is where we'll, we'll do the count or export materials from, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the Conduit Wizard, and I'm going to input these items using the Conduit Wizard. When I'm done, I'm going to go over and just mark on these or notate here that I've actually input them into Red Rhino so I don't do it twice, okay? That's what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so like I explained in the beginning, this is how I estimate with PlanSwift. I have PlanSwift open on one screen, Red Rhino on the other. In this case, I drilled down into the Conduit Wizard, and I'm ready to start inputting items, okay, inputting here. So again, I'm going to use the Conduit Wizard. If you don't know how to use the Conduit Wizard, do watch the training videos in Red Rhino. You'll see at the top here when you open the Conduit Wizard, there's a video showing you how to use it, okay? It's important to know how to use it. But when, uh, So when I open the Conduit Wizard, it defaults at PVC. Okay, and then I have to click the size drop down. So in this case, it's three quarter inch, and I click find. Important, you have, must click find. Okay, then it shows conduit application. This is an underground applica application. So I'm going to click the drop down. I'm going to select underground. 
okay? And then moving on down, I see on Plan Swift to the right, it's 729 feet. Guess what? I'm going to round that up to 730. So I'm going to type in 730 feet on the Conduit Wizard. Number of runs I counted, I see there was six runs, okay? And then I click the wire drop down, I find number 10 copper, and number of conductors at the right, I put in three. And then it's asking me the wire makeup length. Now I didn't record that anywhere, but I happen to know that I want to add six feet of wire makeup coming out of both ends of all these runs of conduit. Next, it shows the conduit, the elbows quantity. I click in that box. And on my takeoff on the right on Plan Swift, I see there were six of them. Okay, so I'm going to go type in six. And then next, I click the Add button. Okay, now when I click the Add button, I'm going to close the conduit wizard. It populates the materials that I just input here, okay, all the all the conduit and wire and fittings and such, and I'm going to click the Save button on Red Rhino. Now, I'm going to change screens to just show the plan so screen now better for you, okay? But that's how I do it. I, I have taken off or measured the conduit runs and and basically recorded them in Plan Swift. Then I go and input them into Red Rhino using the conduit wizard. Next, I'm going to show you I want to make sure that I notate that they're input into Red Rhino, and I'll show you that next. Okay, now, now again, we're back to the view of Plan Swift here. Now, I want to make sure that I record the fact that I've input these into Red Rhino. I prefer to just go over here in the exported column, and I type in all capital letters, input, I-N-P-U-T. That tells me that I input these items. I just click on each one and type that they were input. And then again, when I look at this list again, I can tell, okay, I exported these and I input these. Input to me means I manually input it. Okay, so that's how you use Plan Swift for measuring conduit and use the conduit wizard to input conduits into Red Rhino software.